A lot of people think I'm posh. Who here thinks I'm posh? Yeah. Well, compared to you, yes. <laughs> but I'm not as posh as people think. I actually went to one of the roughest colleges in Cambridge. <laughs> as I'm sure you all would have ascertained, I'm quite middle class. And I'm from the home counties. So I don't have an accent. This is just how things sound when they're pronounced properly. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with being working class <laughs> these days. <laughs> being working class is very much like masturbation. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> of course, it's nothing to be proud of either. <laughs> and both give you calluses on your hands. <laughs> you go into McDonald's? You might go in there later on. You might need a poo. Have you noticed how underneath McDonald's it still says restaurant? <laughs> Who's that for? <laughs> Who doesn't know what McDonald's do? And also, restaurant. Is it a restaurant? Really? <laughs> uh, you guys are a couple, right? How long have you been together? A year and a bit. Okay, so a long term relationship, a year and a bit you've been together. How annoyed would you be, madam, on a scale between one and fucking very <laughs> if next Valentine's he said to you, uh, yeah, I booked a restaurant, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I spoke to the maitre d'. Yeah. <laughs> Ronald, I think his name was. <laughs> he was either the maitre d' or a five-star general, cos he had the whole bit, aren't he? <laughs> I've organised a table for two and he recommends the filet fish <laughs> You'd fucking kill him, wouldn't you? And who doesn't know what McDonald's do at this stage? You'd have to be living underground for 25 fucking years. <laughs> Vasistas. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> Schnitzel. <laughs> Schnitzel for the fritzer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got stopped outside of McDonald's. This guy said to me the other day, he said, this cheap food is only made possible by GM farming, cruelty to animals and the exploitation of workers in the third world. I said, all right, hold up. You had me a cheap food. <laughs> I'm going in, there's no need for the hard sell. <laughs> All that other stuff is just a bonus. <laughs> the male gypsy moth can smell the female gypsy moth up to seven miles away. And that fact also works if you remove the word moth. There's a lot of clichés about gypsies. Maybe you can help me out this, sir. <laughs> Have you ever tarmac to drive? No. no, of course not. You just take the deposit and fuck off like the rest of them. <laughs> You've been what, say? You've blocked paved a few. You've blocked paved a few? Yeah. Yes. You see, to my mind, that would be the same thing. <laughs> I love the fact you've made a distinction. <laughs> Have a tarmac to drive? No, I've blocked paved a few, but I... <laughs> I can't imagine that's what he's getting at. <laughs> What's your name? Lee. Lee. Hello, Lee. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> it's like a love... Yeah, nice to meet you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's lovely to have you in. You seem to have taken that in the right way. I did that joke at a gig a couple of weeks ago. See, when I do that joke, I've got to pick on someone from the audience. So what I do is I look around quickly and I pick on someone who looks like a bikey. <laughs> Anyway, I did this joke in South End. Yeah, I picked on a big guy down the front, he was laughing along with everything. He took it slightly the wrong way, really, like, properly insulted. Came up to me after the show and threatened me. But he was pretending to be a lot posher than he was, because he was saying, well, I'm not a gypsy, so he's pretending to be really posh. And he tried to threaten me without swearing. That's a tough thing to do. He used the phrase, knuckle sandwich. <laughs> and then he said, rather epically, do you like hospital food? <laughs> no, I didn't say anything, because I was a little bit afraid. On reflection, of course, I should have said, I'm with Booper, it's delicious. <laughs> choice of three starters. Do your fucking worst. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lee, I've labelled you a chav. I didn't mean to. I quite like the term chav. I, I read it in the papers before I heard it out loud. I thought it was pronounced shav. <laughs> I should want... Don't kick off, Lee. I'm middle class, but I'm hard. <laughs> Al dente, you might say. <laughs> you got the al dente reference, you're middle class too. Well done. 
I'm not being snobbish, but I think you know you're common if you're at the same school as your mum. <laughs> this is a bit snobbish. Do you get annoyed by kids that can't use cutlery properly? That irritates me if they can't use cutlery properly. Oh. And that would add insult to injury, wouldn't it? If you got stabbed by some asbo yob <laughs> and they were holding the knife like a pen. <laughs> I'd be fucking livid. <laughs> Do it again, this time properly. <laughs> Caravan holidays. Caravan holidays are a fun way of telling your kids you're poor. <laughs> Most people laughing, a couple of you giving me the stink eye. <laughs> Giving me a look as if to say, it's actually quite a posh caravan. <laughs> it's a sixth birth and we go to Cornwall, so or whatever. <laughs> Just one question for you. On your holidays, do you shit in a cupboard? <laughs> mm. <laughs> You've just about cracked a smile, but it really took some effort. <laughs> What's your name, madam? What's your name? Any... It's not the telly. I can I can see you. <laughs> What's your name? Camilla. Camilla. And what do you do, Camilla? I suppose it depends on the guy. <laughs> I'm only messing about. Just you look all dressed up for this sort of show, this kind of filth. Maybe he told you, well, we're going to go and see a theatre show in the West End of London. You went, fucking brilliant. <laughs> you probably didn't even say fucking. You probably went, marvellous. <laughs> Mar the West End of London, a theatre show. This will be, oh, a bit of class. And he's finally, and then you... This and you're going, for oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> you bought the ticket, and how do you two know each other? That's your mum. Well, you, 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 don't, you, you don't even look like. You look as if you could be sisters. <laughs> you don't look young, she looks fucking old. <laughs> you let yourself go. I can't help myself. It's some sort of trap. I love the fact you've just turned around and go, does she? What have you done to yourself there? You've got a little thing on your... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. What did you do? You've got, he's got a little bandage on his face yeah. there. What, what have you done? I had a growth cut off. You had a growth cut off your face? <laughs> oh, sexy. <laughs> wow. It'll look better after. Better after. No, I, I like the little thing. It's very, very macho. You could make up a better story than that, I feel. <laughs> There's got to be a better story than I had a growth. I had a black eye a while back. I had a black eye because um, I was playing tennis. I got a tennis ball in the face, so I got a black eye. Obviously, that's a shit story. So what I said to people initially was, you should see the other bloke. <laughs> Fun for about half an hour. And then I hit upon this. People said, what happened to your eye? I go, you should see my wife. <laughs> you could visit her, she's in hospital. <laughs> See, it's all class, this, Camilla. <laughs> Wife beating. Oh. <laughs> Good. Well, we'll check in with you from time to time. Check you're happy. Good. <laughs> People with Tourette's. <laughs> what makes them tick? <laughs> that was originally about suicide bombers. I've toned it down for you. 